morning class. Look at this. What do I have for you? Yes, you guessed it right. It is a mystery box. Now, I'm going to take out a few slips from this box and I'm going to show you some pictures on the PPT and just look at the, read the words and look at the PPT. Here I go. Can you all read this? Yes, it is farmer. Can I paste it here? Farmer. Now, look at the picture. Next word, next I take out. Can you read this? Sweeper. Yes. I'm going to paste this as well. Now, look at the picture. Next. Read this word. Yes, you read it correct. Doctor. Let's put it on the board. A doctor. Look at the picture.
where do these people work and how do these people work have you ever seen your teacher have you ever observed your teacher teaching in a class yes what do i used to teach i am a teacher and it is my occupation and i love teaching because i am surrounded by such lovely children it is my occupation have you ever observed me or for that matter any teacher who uses a few things to teach all right yes anybody yes now a teacher uses a duster a chalk a blackboard and a pen to check your notebooks of course now these are known as the working tools which are used by a teacher there are different tools used by different people at work let us look at some of them now i am going to show you a picture look at this picture and identify this tool and you need to tell me this tool is used by yes what is the name of this tool it is a broom and it is used by a sweeper correct shall we proceed which tool is this a stethoscope and we all know that this tool is used by a doctor identify this tool it is a paint brush and it is used by a painter have you ever seen a doctor using a paint brush no have you ever seen a teacher using a stethoscope no so we have working specific working tools for different types of occupation now next question we have understood different types of occupations we've read we've learned about different types of tools how do they work now where do these people work for example if i have a stomach ache i have a severe stomach ache and i need to see a doctor urgently where will i go to will i go to a school to see a doctor will i go to a market place to see a doctor no there are places of work where these people work for example if i want to see a doctor i will go to a hospital now and where do we all come to study where do our teacher goes to and where do you all come to learn we go to a school that is a teacher's place of work where does a farmer work does a farmer have you ever seen a farmer in your school no a farmer works in a field now children different types of occupations how do they work and where do these people work now india is our country and in india our occupations are divided into two parts we have rural occupation and urban occupation now by rural when i say rural by rural i mean the areas that are not developed or that do not have enough facilities now farmers fishermen people in villages choose occupations like farming fishing pottery etc these are termed as rural occupations and we see lawyers doctors architects in urban areas so these come under urban occupation so now are we clear with the difference between rural occupation and the urban occupation now children people choose occupation as per their interest and skill set different types of work require different skills and training for example some people make their hobby as an occupation ms dhoni and sachin tendulkar 
they are the great examples of this. They have made their hobby into an occupation. Now children, a very important thing, a very important thing which we all should understand, we all should save it in our memories. It is that we should respect all work. We should respect all work. We have you, we people have domestic helps at our homes. We have maids, we have washermen, we have milkmen, we have helpers in our schools who help us to keep, you, you know children, when you leave for your home, we have people who help to clean your classrooms, they clean, their, they clean your corridors, they keep the surroundings clean only for you. So they do a lot of hard work. We should, that is why we should respect all work. We should be kind to them. And that reminds me, Gandhiji very rightly said, all work are equal and no work should be considered low or dirty. He never felt low in doing any kind of work. Do you know children, he used to clean toilets and spin cotton himself. That reminds me. Let me quote Gandhiji here. So long as you do not take brooms and buckets in your hands. So long as you do not take brooms and buckets in your hands, you cannot keep your towns and cities clean. This is called dignity of labor. So children, please keep it in mind that we should respect all work. Now, after understanding, after learning about different types of occupations, I would uh, want you to do one assignment for me. And that is, uh, I will show you a video. After I show you a video, I will tell you what the assignment is about. Jobs and Occupations Firefighter Postman Police Officer Judge Farmer Fisherman Miner Bus driver Teacher Student, Librarian, Baker, Chef, Waitress, Pilot, Doctor Nurse Dentist Paramedic Pharmacist Veterinary 
Life God. Architect. Brick layer. Construction worker. Jailer Mechanic Hairdresser Fashion Designer Photographer Cameraman Reporter Artist Musician Businessman Secretary Insurance Agent Accountant Computer Technician Scientist Soldier Housekeeper Need, required a uniform and why? 
What is the significance of the uniform? Why do certain occupations have uniform?